Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're in the market for a heavy duty table saw that folds up, can be easily moved, and has plenty of power, then stick around. Because we're going to unbox, assemble, and test Skills SPT99-11 Worm Drive Table Saw. Now before we get started here, I just want to say that Skill did not send me this saw to look at and I'm also not affiliated with Skill in any way. The SPT99-11 is a 15 amp job site table saw that can fold up when being transported or when it's not in use, making it a great option for the small shop that it's gonna call home. Now I've used other saws like this and the one thing they tend to have in common is they lack power. What makes this saw unique is what sits between the blade and the motor and that is a worm gear. Since the 1920s, worm geared saws have been known for several things but the one that stands out the most is the high amount of torque these guys have over their Sidewinder cousins. Guys, I can't wait to test this thing, but first, let's get it put together. Now, when you go to put this together, always follow the manufacturer's instructions, which in this case are pretty clear. We're gonna start by placing the stand assembly on the bottom of the saw and lining up the bolt holes. Then we'll bolt the two together and tighten down the nuts. Next, we'll insert the handlebar into the stand assembly and bolt it in place. Now to make this next part a little easier, I'm going to prop the stand up like this. Then bolt this H bracket in place with a plastic spacer in between the bracket and the stand frame. For the final part of the stand assembly, we're going to bolt these two areas together through the holes shown. We just have to make sure the tabs on the stand are underneath the H bracket. Then we'll bolt the two together with a plastic spacer in between. Last but not least, we'll install the wheels. The lever I'm pulling here is what allows the stand to fold. It also stands the saw upright and locks it in place when you're ready to use it. You know, one thing I noticed right off the bat is how smooth this whole unit functions, from folding it up, moving it around, and then putting it back into its usable position. It's really nice. Now before we fire this thing up, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the throat plate, jack up the blade, and then pull the riving knife up the whole way. Then we'll reinstall the throat plate, install the blade guard, and connect the anti-kickback fingers. Now when you go to raise and lower the blade, everything should work together nice and smooth. Now it's important to note that this saw comes with a lot of nice features, including a push stick, miter gauge, dust port elbow, rack and pinion fence adjustment, rail locking lever, adjustable blade bevel, extra support for wider, thinner stock so it doesn't slide underneath the fence when ripping. I thought this was really nice adjustable leg levelers, and a heavy duty cord. Personally, I feel a tool's cord can be a good indicator of its quality, and I was glad to see this saw has a good one. Now one thing to keep in mind is that worm gears need lubrication, and while this saw came lubricated from the factory, you can check and change the lube through this oil plug. Okay, we got the saw all set up and ready to run. Now to give it a fair test, we're gonna rip and cross cut our way through a variety of different materials.
Guys, this saw has done an awesome job so far, but for the final test, I'm gonna remove the guards and try resawing a piece of solid oak. Because this is just a test, I'm only gonna take a little bit off the thickness. Now, resawing can be dangerous, so to make it a little safer, I'm gonna true up a face and both edges on the joiner. All right, I'm gonna keep the blade all the way up, which is a cutting depth of three and a half inches. Let's see what happens. Now because the table saw blade only goes up so high, I'll just finish the cut on the bandsaw. You know, after all that cutting, I can honestly say that this is the best portable job site table saw that I've used. It's well built, has a lot of great features, and the worm gearing provides plenty of power. Now I picked this saw up for 650 bucks, which in my opinion is not bad at all for a tool with this ability. So guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today, and I'll see you next time back at the shop.